we're just coming into what's this helper and so price is just that way and can you hear the snow hitting the windshield <laughs> this is the end of april and we're gonna go rock hunting we think <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today we are out in the San Rafael Swell area. We're about halfway between Price and Green River. So we're just off of the main highway, which is over that way. And we're up here in an area not far from what's called the Somerville Wash. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up one of these washes. I'm, I'm in the car because it is windy today. It is very windy, so I don't know how well this is gonna work. It, I might have to dub over a lot of the audio because it might be just too much wind. But right now while we're back at the vehicle, I at least have the vehicle to block some of the wind. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and try going up this wash right here, uh, which is the first one you come to just as you enter in this area. And we might try some of the other washes or we might try another area. Basically what we're looking for is a red agate that sometimes bands with black and white and maybe some petrified wood. There is dinosaur bone you can get out here, but <laughs> that's illegal to collect. So if we see any, we'll just show it to you and then move on. Okay, well, we're in the wash and fortunately we're down low enough. We're not quite getting as much wind. It just kind of gusts every now and then. And I found this piece. It's definitely some agate. Quality wise, it's just okay. But hey, it's the first sign of something. A little windy right now. Just found that. It's a little, that's nice. It's a little bit of red agate. A little something. So in this conglomerate rock, I just broke it out. Look at that. I guess it's a piece of limestone that had some shell fossils in it or something. That's pretty nice though. Kind of a, a lucky thing to get in the um, conglomerate. I also found this little piece. It doesn't look like much, but when you hold it up to the sun, you can see the orange coming through it. The edges. Well, my dad's checking out that little valley. Right here, much bigger pieces. Look at that. Much bigger pieces. Unfortunately, the stuff around here is so heavily fractured. Now, here's some more of that red spotted stuff. Very interesting. I wonder if it would look nice. There's a whole bunch right here as if it was coming out right here. Maybe. Well, there's the wash behind me. Come up here, and it looks like it's an actual layer of agate. Uh, I'm not getting any light through it, I guess. But it looks like it. Hello, wind. I'm gonna bust into some of this and see what it looks like. The main wash is over there. We're a fair bit up from where we parked. I came over to the smaller wash and this red just screamed at me. Look at that. Wow. Huh. That is nice though. The little bit that's right there. Wow. Okay, I'm getting more excited now. Those are nice, and it looks like somebody's been here before digging. I bet they were digging for that stuff. That is nice looking. Yeah, I think I might hold on to those. <laughs> Get back down in the wash, and you, I'm finding these nodules of jasper too. They'll tend to be kind of a brownish to orange, and sometimes red in it. And just straight up, the agate is getting so much better. You're, you're seeing it everywhere now. So my dad and I were just sitting here showing each other the stuff we'd found. And right there in that little hole, I pulled this out. Look at that. That might be beautiful to cut. Assuming it doesn't shatter. We'll, we'll find out. Look at this. This is looking pretty nice right here. The difficulty I'm finding with this area is finding big enough pieces that you can actually do something with that aren't shattered. So, like you've got a little bit right there on the edge, but is it enough to do anything with? Then this one, so shattered, you can't really do anything. So this right here, 
this looks promising so this is good size right here and it goes pretty deep right into here and maybe even go further it's hard to tell this looks promising this is something i might be able to make stuff with and that piece maybe this is the other side of this which maybe right here we've got stuff we can work with I don't know, for sure. I'm gonna keep digging, see if we can find any other good pieces. But yeah, the majority of the stuff is either too fractured or too small. So you really have to search. That looks promising. Wow, look at the size of this rock. Oh. Okay. Okay. Huh. Okay. Oh, look at that. We got some botryoidal chalcedony on it, which is, you know, agate, chert, quartz, jasper, that stuff. Ah, oh, look at that. Botryoidal on it. That's nice. Got any more on this? I think it's coming out of the hill right here. I think this is the unit. No, I'm positive that this is the unit it's coming out of. But right here, this looks like a good spot to uh, dig into a little bit. Wandering over here a little further, that's where we're finding those nice pieces. And look, they keep getting bigger and maybe even better. As you keep coming up this hill, you just keep finding more and more. Look at that thing. <laughs> we'll just take a quick little gander. Just so you get a feel for how much is here. I like that one. Pretty. Well, I'm back from exploring part of the San Rafael Swell with my dad, and that was pretty interesting. I wasn't expecting that much good quality red agate on that one hill, so that was very exciting. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stuff I found. I went and cut up a bunch of them. A lot of them I haven't cut yet. They're still a little too big, but let's see what was inside of some of those. Were they better or not than what they looked like on the outside? Let's take a look. We'll start by looking at some of the botryoidal formations. So we got this one right here, smaller piece. So this is very consistent out there. You've got this red agate and then this kind of colorless to gray agate that just kind of meld into each other. It's actually quite pretty. Here is a, here is a larger piece. It is fractured. Most of the stuff that we found on the surface had fractures running through it due to weathering over time, which is unfortunate. Here is the largest piece that had the uh, botryoidal chalcedony on it. Agate, basically, because of its translucence. Got some calcite right here. And then this side was really nice. Look at that. So you can see how this stuff has these veins running all through it. A mixture of that red and kind of gray agate. This was a piece of red and yellow jasper. So there is some nice jasper. Didn't find where this came from. It's probably further up than where we went, but it is nice. Okay, now we're getting into the cut pieces. So here's one that I cut. Don't know how well you can see the light coming through there but it's nice. Nice agate. See, look at that. It's got a red and white colorless. Here's another nice piece. I mean, if you look at that closely. Look at how nice that agate really is. It's just sad that it's so fractured. Very nice. A lot of the times when I cut it, only a small area of it would actually have the agate and then most of it was the host rock, which the host rock to me looks volcanic. 
which is very typical when you find agates. They're usually in a volcanic rock of some kind. So yeah, most of this was the rhyolite. And then right there was where the good agate was. Nice banding though, see? This, this is pretty nice stuff. Here we've got a nice one that's just got little layers of the agate going through it. You can see a little bit of light coming through on some of it. Wanted to quickly show that little fossil rock that I found. That was probably just a stream pebble. Cut into that and you can see the uh, clamshells in them. It's pretty cool. And this last one that I cut open is my favorite. That particular, look at that. Beautiful red banding here. Nice clear area right there. And then you've got this one. It's the other side of it. Not as good as the previous side. Still. Very nice. Pretty nice stuff, right? Some nice red agate with banding. And it, it was beautiful stuff. It usually came in just very small layers going through the rock. And most of them are fractured. And I'm guessing that's probably due to smaller pieces and their proximity to the surface because they were all on the surface. <laughs> I collected these all at the surface. And you saw how much there was all over that hill and the big ones. I wonder if you can get those bigger ones or maybe dig into the hill if you can get some better pieces that have much more consistent veins of agate that aren't as fractured that could mix for some beautiful material. I think that's a wonderful location. There's some great stuff there and as you could probably see, didn't look like that place had ever been touched. Like we found the stuff all over, but didn't look like anybody had ever dug anywhere or even collected stuff on the surface. So that's a great location that we probably found based on the book from a guy who had searched in the area, but probably didn't find that hill. So go check that hill out, go see what you can find and then maybe dig into it and see if you can cut, get some really nice banded red agate. All right, until next time, remember, there's treasure everywhere.